going to paint the ties on the tracks from the canyon back to the lift out section. And I'm going to use these paints to mix up maybe five or six different colors of grays and browns and randomly paint the ties on the city track and the mainline track. I have my ties painted. So now it is time for ballast. I'll be using this ballast for the entire layout. I've already put it down over here. And so now get it down on these tracks. I have to get up on a, a small step ladder to do this. So I want to be careful not to not to overdo it. And I just need to have patience because this is not a quick process. can always add more but it's hard to take it away so so I have a brush here that I'm going to use to try and distribute it I'm going to try to keep the, this area here clear because I will eventually have to solder the bridge track here. Well, making some progress with the ballast and you are looking at four and a half hours of work. So it's a process. It's not a quick one. I'm trying to keep the rail and the ties clean of any ballast pieces. And it takes a little bit of time to make sure it's all cleaned up. But I've reached a point where I think I'm going to go ahead and lock this down with scenic glue before I go any further. I'm getting ready to apply scenic glue to this turnout area. Now I need to be careful not to get any scenic glue where these electrical contacts are. And I have the ballast down low enough where I don't have any restriction of movement. So I just want to be careful here. I don't want to get any glue where the points make contact with the rails or here where the electrical signal gets transferred to the points. And this is as far as I'm going to take the ballast here, but of course, still got all this track to do. Well, after getting the ballast where I want it, and then I have to come back a second time and get all the little crumbs of ballast off the ties and out of the rail web. So when I put the scenic glue down, I don't want that stuff glued in place. So when I put the scenic glue down, I want to be really careful that I don't stir this stuff up. Now brushing off the individual crumbs of ballast, Give it a final looking over. I put some isopropyl in a cup and I take my pipette and I carefully apply the alcohol first to the center 
and I want to have the alcohol coming out of the pipette very close to the track because I don't want the ballast stirred up. And you can see the isopropyl is moving down into the ballast on the side. What I'll do here is I'll give it a little bit of help. All right, now I've got my scenic glue here, and I've given it a pretty good shake. Make sure it's fixed up really well. And I'm going to take another pipette, fill it full of scenic glue. And again, I don't I don't want to disturb the ballast, so I'm squeezing the glue out close to the track. Once all this dries, the track's going to have to be thoroughly cleaned. Because even after applying the scenic glue, it's going to get a wash. and I'll probably have to touch up the paint on the rails in a few spots. And it'll have to be thoroughly cleaned. I have these two long stretches of track ballasted. And here at the lift out section, you can see I brought the ballast all the way up to the end. It does take a little bit of time, but I am happy that's done. And I have it ballasted all the way to the canyon. I have three washes for my track and my ballast. Now this dark wash is for the ties, which will go down the middle of the track. And then I have a black-brown any brown wash that I'll use on the ballast. So I take my wash, put some in my cup, and this is the dark tie wash, and I just brush it down the middle of the track. This is going to tone down those tie colors and it'll also put a little bit of a dark stain down the middle of the track where locomotives or rolling stock would deposit oil. And it doesn't have to be uniform, it can be irregular. I have the dark track wash applied. And I went down the middle of the track, but I also brushed the outside edges of the ties. Now my wash has matte medium in it, which is like a clear flat paint, which gives the wash a little bit more bite. I'm going to take the light brown wash. I have the same brush. I haven't cleaned it. Just take the take the brown wash and just blot it blot it on the ballast just randomly.
This is going to give our ballast a little bit more life. I have the brown ballast wash applied and now I'm going to apply the black brown wash. I'm using the same cup, didn't rinse it out, and I haven't cleaned the brush. So it's okay if these colors mingle. Same process, just randomly blot the wash onto the ballast. And it's okay if some gets on the ties, but you know, don't don't try to put it on the ties. If you get a little bit on the ties, it's okay, but you want to get it on the ballast. When applying ballast, I have a few spots where when I was cleaning the ballast out of the rail web, the uh, abrasive ballast chipped away my paint. So what I'm going to do now is take some paint. Here I'm going to use some Vallejo Dark Rust and thin it down. Use a brush and go in and touch up all the areas where the paint has been chipped away inside the rail web. Well, I'm going to try something here on the track and I'm hoping I can pull this off. Is I'm going to dry brush the ties. And I need to get this brush, the dry brush, extremely dry. So I can't have an excess of paint. So this is going to be interesting to see how this works out. Alright, so get some paint in the brush and I gotta get the paint out of the brush. And it has to be super dry. Super, super dry. I gotta get all the paint out. Because if I get too much paint on these ties, it's gonna ruin my track. Alright, well I can definitely see it. Get on the sides of the ties. Here you can see where the edges of the ties have picked up that white paint. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of the track. And if this works out, well then I'll go ahead and do this part of the track as well. The next step for our track is to make up a rust wash and apply that to all the spikes. Every single spike. And if you think that might be tedious, well, you are right. But, got to be done. So I'm going to start with this orange rust. I'll mix it with a little bit of thinner. Apply it to every spike. This is a tedious process, and it takes some time. But this Atlas track is a little bit low on detail, and I want to do what I can to try to make it come alive a little bit. And this rust wash is a good way to highlight some of the detail it does have. I used the Bright Boy to initially clean the track and then followed it up with this and I can't remember who makes it but the abrasive is much more fine so while the Bright Boy scuffs the rail up pretty good this polishes it back out. I'm going to end this video here. Now I did get a little bit of work done in the canyon bottom but if I were to cover that, this video would get really long. So I'm just going to focus on the track work. 
So I'll finish part four. Thank you for watching. I hope you come back again. Thanks again for watching.